This is another one of Dr. Beal's quick tours of the heart. We're gonna be looking at some of the internal structures. If I remove the front here and I open up this chamber here, um, I'm leaving some of the stickers for, that a student had previously put in there. I think it might help a little bit. Inside both atria, you can see on the atrial walls, the, um, the bundles, those are pectinate muscles that line the atria. The indentation right there that has the number six on it, that's the remnant, remnant of the foramen ovale. It is now the fossa ovale. The burgundy painted hole right there is the entryway of the coronary sinus where the venous blood from the heart itself returns back to the right atrium. And if we look down, you can see the top of the tricuspid valve right there. So passing down the tricuspid valve or the right, e right AV valve into this right ventricle here, you can see the valve and you can see the, the chordae tendinae here anchored on what has a number 11 sticker. That's a papillary muscle. The tricuspid valve, because it does have three cusps, would have three tricusp or three papillary muscles. The, the wall here that's clearly evident dividing the right ventricle and the left ventricle is the interventricular septum. If we look up, we can see the number 14 up here. Uh, that's the pulmonary semilunar valve, taking you up into the pulmonary trunk and the pulmonary arteries left and right going to the lungs. When you return back to the lungs, the blood will return to this left atrium. This doesn't open, but here's the oracle here. Returning from the lungs, you return through the uh, pulmonary veins. These would be the left pulmonary veins. And on this side, the right pulmonary veins are right here also, inferior to the pulmonary artery. When you look in, you can see the left AV valve. That's the tri uh, bicuspid or mitral valve. You can see the chordae tendinae on that. This is a giant papillary muscle here. There would be two papillary muscles for the bicuspid. If you look up in here, I can't see what that number is right there, but the green sticker right there would be on the aortic semilunar valve. When the blood is ejected through that, it's gonna come up into this ascending aorta and into the aortic arch, and it's gonna go out to the systemic circulation. The meaty bundles inside the ventricular walls are called trabeculae carnae. That's just the quick tour.